Talks. We've been talking about different strategies and helping you get started on your business and the things that are important. And today we're just going to give you some very basic tips. All of these programs, every single one of them, you have to go back in. It would be good if you went back into the Shackley University and redid them and printed out the documents to help keep you on track. Because as Charlene Fike would say, we need to be the architect of our own calendar, not leave it up to chance on a daily basis. We have times in our lives where that may happen, but when we're serious about building a business, we want to get focused and we do want to be the basically the architect of how we spend our time to make it happen. So this is going to give you some ideas and structure on what to get to those different categories like director and senior director. So a director is you need 2,000 PV to become a director, but the ideal spot is to be doing 3,000. That's recommended because that automatically qualifies you for the new directors conference in San Francisco. All three of us on tonight, myself, Mina, and Mary, um, we all have gone to a new directors conference and every single one of us had an incredible experience. So this is possible for you too. It's just in that first year you want to be doing, half of the year you want to be doing at least 3,000 PGV. That's your volume how much product you've sold. So, um, so one of the things to do to achieve that 3,000, you need a plan. And when you make a plan, your business grows. And I think that's true for all of us. When I don't, it doesn't. And so, and that's so true for every single one of us is to have a plan in front of it. Um, we don't have a boss, we have a plan. So, a plan of activities will help you grow to director. How many activities per month are scheduled? Will be the speed of your growth. How many people do you need to talk to? Will be the speed of your growth. And what activities are on your calendar? To find your answers, build a plan, an action plan, every month to help you achieve your goals. So, there are forms that you can download that gives you 100 days of monthly PV planning, a PV reference sheet to give you some ideas on um, what uh, to help you build that PV, and then also a PV monthly plan that is actually a list of activities and everything that, um, you know, we kind of have an average of how much PV happens at different activities, and that's what we're going to look at right now, too. Okay, 3,000 PGV keeps you in action and helps to build a strong foundation for your future business. An active calendar will help you build confidence in doing activities. Choose activities from the list that you are most comfortable doing. Start with 2,000 PGV required for director. Build yourself to 3,000 PGV so that you can, well, even get work on getting qualified for a bonus car. So, so you make a plan. You make a plan to do exactly that, to be able to get to the new director's conference and also to get to senior directors so that you can qualify for a car. So, activities to generate PV. So here you have health print and follow up with it. You have personal use. You have three-way calls. You have appointments. You have business launch event. So a business launch event will actually generate about 250 PV. You have two goals at a business launch event, to generate PV and also to generate an in-home event in somebody else's home that also generates 250 PV minimum. And I'm saying minimum because I've had 
I've had an in-home event that has brought in a thousand. I've had one. In fact, that was in Mary Andriosi's house. <laughs> I had one that was in Paula's house that Paula Esposito that brought in 800. Just one event. And at each of those events, there was 10, 12 people. And that's really what helped. So, um, and you can, or you could do a smoothie event, a smoothie workshop, 250 PV, where you're really just mixing up different flavors of smoothies and having a great time. There can be a health chat that you can do online. There can be follow-up. There can, you know, follow-up is essential. So, and Facebook events. So the follow-ups generate more PV as well. Uh, and also, one other thing that we mentioned is one-on-ones and then three-way calls. I want to mention those because this is a time when you um, open up the call to one of your uplines, someone who's had a little more experience and ability to answer any questions. This is really important when you have a potential business builder or you've just signed up a business builder that you do either a three-way call or you meet online or you meet physically together. And then building to directors. So you want your monthly activities. And then you calculate how much PV they're going to bring. So smoothie workshop, 250. In-home meeting, 250. Business launch event, 250 right there is um, 750 PV, and then you do a Facebook event, some text blitzing to invite people, and product packs, and health print follow-up, and health chat, and studio visit, and you do all of those activities we were talking about, as well as follow-up, new person follow-up, um, member follow-up, new member orientation. Sometimes that's more important than anything else because that cements your business and prevents them from um, leaving, you know, coming out, buying something and not continuing because they, they haven't, they may not have even opened their package, <laughs> which has happened to me. It's happened to me. Okay. The other thing is a prospect list, a good follow-up tool. So you put those people down on paper. Now, for some of us, we like to use, at least I do, I like to use an index card to put them down on that. But you could also, in the beginning, it's not bad to put it on one of these spreadsheets so that you can work through that list. Because my first tool was a, well, it was a notebook full of names. And I worked my way through those names, inviting them to events. And of course, we have all kinds of tools that, with the health print, that we can use to set up follow-up and create a contact list. We have Be Proactive, partner with your upline business mentor and complete your plan for upcoming months. Figure out what you're going to do and um, who you're going to be talking to. And then use the PV reference sheet to determine activities. Appointments to hear about the business, appointments to learn about the products, smoothie workshops and home events. The same, same thing. These same tools can be used, and you don't have to use them all. You find, find something that you really love. If you love to present to a group of people, then do lots of in-home events and Facebook Live events. Um, if, you're, if you're not comfortable like that, then you do some one-on-ones and lots of one-on-ones. So you start by picking three or four of the most comfortable, the things that you are most comfortable doing. And follow-up is a must. It, it cements your business together. And then list the activities, projected PV amounts, and commit to weekly and monthly activities to plan out your 3,000 PGV. 
Now, one of the things that need to mention is we talked a little bit about personal use last week, and you, I just want to remind everybody that personal use is not only what vitamins you're taking and what shakes you're drinking and everything, but it also includes what kind of skincare you're putting on your face, what you're washing your hair with, what you're cleaning your house with using the Get Clean products. You're going to find why, uh, one, you're going to find that you're going to love those products, but the other thing you're going to find is that, you know, your PV is going to be much higher than 100. It's, it, you're, you're going to be using what you'd buy at someplace else, but it's for your own personal use. So why would you go to another store to shop right and buy um, eCover or 7th Generation and give them the profit than buy the laundry detergent and the cleaning products from Shackley so that you're getting the profit. So, you know, so that you get the profit back in your bonus check. So, yeah, it just makes good common sense, and plus they work better. Um, anyways, all right, so this plan was put together that um, isn't showing up real well here, but anyways, it was put together to bring 3,500 PGV monthly total if they did all those different activities. So between auto ships, what you get people to put on auto ships and health chats, health print, business event, you know, member auto ships, Shackley 180 tastings, business opportunity meeting. And before you know it, you've got a PGV that is 5,600 or 10,600. So this is just some of the steps in developing to director. Now let's focus on developing directors on your team because this is not a business you want to go alone on. You want a team of people. And, you know, your team of people actually become really your best friends. So it's really important to get to know each other, know their strengths, and really know things that you really like about them so that working with them is fun and making it fun. So this person here, the example, has three directors under them and a bunch of members. And that's actually a strong, probably works out to be about, a, and if they're all doing 3,000, that's, um, that's a strong senior coordinator and on her way to becoming an executive coordinator. So duplicate directors. <clears throat> and so use the monthly PV planning tools to coach and develop new directors. So what you're going to be doing is teaching them to do exactly what you did. So I had a grand opening. And so when Mary came on board, I had her have a grand opening. When Mina came on board, we had a, her first event group in her home. And then we did a lot of one-on-ones and consistently building and bringing in new people. So keep in mind what works for new distributors is also what works worked for you. It's finding what works, what they would like to do the most. Some people don't want to do in-home events. Some people want to choose one of the other activities. That's what you help them run with. Find out what they're comfortable with because to start out, we need to do what they're comfortable with. So coaching to director, learn what they are doing and not doing and where they are stuck and provides a strategic plan for upcoming month. So you're going to need time to chat with them. When you have, you know what their plan is for a month, for the month, then you can have a, what I'm calling huddle calls to find out how they're doing with the progress of that. And I know Mary, Mina, Lynn, um, we, we have, we get together and have our huddle calls one-on-one -on -one and find out what they're 
doing for the week. We do it weekly or every other week or so, but those, um, those work well to help us stay in, stay in tune with our directions, stay on top of it, and then, then uh, the leader's job is to help them stay focused and, you know, and really help them have that conversation, what you've been working on, is this, you know, I have the plan in front of me, what, you know, are you ready to put that plan for the week into action, what do you have scheduled, and, and they're going to share all that anyways, because they're going to be excited, but your job is to be there to give advice and direction, especially when they're stuck, which is going back to why they want to build this business. And so coaching to director, current month PGV results, additional PGV needed to achieve end of the month goal, and recognize and acknowledge individual success. As a coach, these are the things you're going to want to do on that call. Congratulate them on successes that they're having, and also they might need some new ideas to get to where they, their goal for the end of the month. And that's our job as coaches. Work together with your team. <clears throat> and this monthly plan was exactly what I needed. You can wish, hope, and write down your desires. But once on paper, my team and I looked at them on a weekly basis. This is Allison Chuggerman. Uh, then they were more apt to become a reality. We were driven to make it happen, and because it was all in one place, it was easy to keep handy and refer to. It is working. I am maintaining my senior coordinator status, and I, so I am heading to Playa del Carmen. So coaching guide. Duplicate directors by creating monthly plan of activities for 3,000 PGV. And there again, the personal use, in-home events, Facebook events, health chats, individual appointments, business opportunity, all of these things. And the reason why you want to help them get to their 3,000 and in their first year as director is you know, for at least half the year is so that they can qualify for that new director's conference. I think that's so very important. More important than the car is the getting to that director's conference. It just is such a fabulous, wonderful event. It makes you feel so special. I know that when Randy and I went on our first one, oh my goodness, we sat on the plane saying, what are we going to say to each other? We're never... We always have our kids with us. We're never out, just the two of us. What are we going to talk about? <laughs> and, uh, and we had decided we were going to stay an extra few days out in California and visit with his cousin. So we had a fabulous time, fabulous e event. So it was really, really cool. So anyways, um, having a plan can help you achieve what you want to get to, where you want to go, increase your PV, find your distributors that you want to work with. So <clears throat> identify what events you want to do and select the ones and, that you're comfortable with and run with them. So here's your roadmap to earn fast track bonuses. That's what I want to go over. Okay, so the minute you get to director, the fast track clock starts. All right, and so when you, okay, director, okay, all right, so there it came up. Senior director is when you're doing, uh, you've broken out one director, so you have you and one director. You do that within 90 days of getting, after you've gotten to director, you then earn, you earn a car bonus, a leadership bonus, and also, um, a, of course, bonus on your um, first level director. That's at 6%.
and also your earning from your own PV as well. I didn't mean to go to that slide and now where did I go? <laughs> okay. There. I need to go back. Thank you. Okay. Now. So this is the slide I wanted. Okay. So senior director, you achieve that in the first six months after becoming a director, you get paid in 10 equal payments and you get paid over that 10 equal payments, it'll accumulate to $1,000. That's a senior director, meaning you have one director underneath you. At coordinator, achieve in nine months after you become a director, which it means two directors under you, um, you get $3,000 paid out over a 10-month period, okay? And you get to senior coordinator, which to me is the ideal place to be because um, your bonuses increase on for your first levels. And you, um, this is 12 months after you get, I'm sorry, nine months after you get a $5,000 reward paid in 10 equal parts. Executive coordinator, 15 months after, you get paid in 10 equal payments of $10,000. Boy, that could pay off some debt, couldn't it? And look at this one, getting to senior executive coordinator, 15. And it keeps going up as you make it around, bringing it up to a total of $89,000 worth of fax track bonuses. <clears throat> okay. And this is the average. So I just showed you some gravy earnings you can make for growing fast. But the average income at each rank, the average lowest income, the average, and the average highest income is listed there. And that gives you an idea of how much money you can earn in Shackley at different ranks. So you could be a senior executive coordinator earning $90,000 a year. That's fantastic. You know, executive coordinator is a really... These two ranks are really comfortable ranks to be at because your bonus checks are just really nice. <laughs> they're, they're the kind of checks you can quit whatever else you're doing. Senior coordinator also is a really nice bonus check. And the, the highest paid at senior coordinator is $52,000 a year. That's really cool. And if you remember, senior coordinator means you have two directors, minimum of two directors and a minimum of you all doing 10,000 OV, overall volume, yours and theirs. So you want to think senior coordinator at all times and think about doing 3,000 and 4,000 PV. So you are building your way to director and helping others to come along with you. Another tip that I would like to add is that when, before you get to director, make sure you have at least a minimum of three strong distributors ready to go, ready, committed, wanting to run with you. And <clears throat> not all of them are going to get to director. It's, you know, that's just a reality. But one of them gets to, to director in those first three to six months after you're a director, that gives you time to build up more PV and find another distributor. So if you think in that terms of always finding new distributors on a consistent basis, which means sharing the opportunity on a consistent basis. All right, so I am going to stop the recording.